Are you fired up? I'm fired up. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Mila, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Who are you voting for? Mm -hmm. Moon. Moon. <laughs> Hillary. On the day of the election, we got we were all dressed. We got dressed in white for the suffragettes, and we were very excited. And I took my son and my daughter and my mom, and we went and we voted. And I got all teary-eyed because um, we came home and we watched the numbers and I sat in disbelief all night. I drove my daughter to school the next day. My son was asleep. They were both asleep in the back of the car and I listened to Hillary Clinton's concession speech and I cried in my car. And I was really sad for the first week and then I was really angry. I've had successes and I've had setbacks, sometimes really painful ones. Many of you are at the beginning of your professional public and political careers. You will have successes and setbacks too. This loss hurts, but please never stop believing that fighting for what's right is worth it. In January, I think I had had enough. Christmas was done and I didn't have something to distract myself with and I, I said there has to be a better way of doing something other than ranting about it to my friends on Facebook who already agreed with me. In January, I started the Facebook group, New York Second District Democrats, trying to, to do something, to find people out here on Long Island who didn't support Donald Trump's agenda and Peter King's agenda and the GOP agenda as a whole. And um, it's thankfully saved my sanity, I think, because I found a whole community of people who, who didn't feel that way and who were just as appalled at what Donald Trump was doing and saying as I was. And the more important step is to get out and have small community meetings, which will really be um, a, like a listening tour. Not really a town hall, but a listening tour where we get to know the people in that community. Because Peter King doesn't go to the Suffolk County part of his district. A lot of the constituents who have voted for him in the past don't really know what he votes for, what he stands for, and how what he votes for affects them personally. Which is it possible then to support Medicaid expansion and turns it into block grants? A lot of people don't understand that, and when I was meeting with him, I asked him, and his, his excuse was that it was a protest vote. That's not a good enough excuse for me because he's protesting with a vote that affects people's lives, and people need to understand that. It's taken over my life. It's basically become a full-time job. I put out these action alerts, and I'm planning meetings, and now I'm working on the community meeting, and my husband wants to kill me because I'm always working on this, but it was so... It was thrilling to see that people wanted to do something, and I'm getting calls and emails from people everywhere around the district now who want to do something, who are now saying, okay, give me my marching orders, tell me what to do. So I'm trying to fill that void and help people figure out what they can do. Obama started as a grassroots organizer. I would love to run for office. I'm not sure at what point I would. Um, but I definitely, it is something that I want to do at some point in time, and I feel that women need to get off the sidelines, we need to step up, and we need more mothers in Congress. If you had more women and more mothers in Congress, you would pass laws like paid family leave.